bad habits. These are killing you in FIFA, lads, and you need to work on them now before the release of the new iteration because you're going to suffer. It's going to be more of a discussion-style video for you guys today, but I want to talk to you about habits and more specifically bad habits because this will fully resonate in the next FIFA for you guys. What do I mean by this? You see, a lot of you guys always have trouble adapting after a patch or after a new FIFA has been released. And, you know, it's, we could say, natural for you guys to continue the habits that you've adapted to over the, uh, you know, length of time that, let's say, that overpowered technique was in the game for. And, uh, you know, it's only natural that you will have muscle memory for that. What I mean by that is, Let's say, for instance, we talk about the step over in FIFA 21. That was super overpowered, but the thing is, people would use it in FIFA 21. As soon as FIFA 22 came out, what happened? It didn't work. Okay, it was very slow in the execution. It didn't beat defenders the way it did in FIFA 21. Yet, people still continued to use it for the first two or three months. This was killing them, in turn, because they were losing the ball easily in the midfield. They'd try to step over and lose it every single time. Another example is through balls. I mean, they're a habit that people still continue to use in FIFA 22, although they don't work. We've known since day one through balls don't work, specifically because they go closer to the defender than they do to your attacker. Why do people still maintain and hold on to this habit? It's because every single year leading up to FIFA 22, through balls worked. Whether it was 18, 19, 20, 21, they always worked. But then you come into FIFA 22, they go closer to the defender than they do to your attacker, and uh, I would say a good 80 to 90% of through balls don't work unless the player that you're through balling to is wide open, there is no defender in sight. People maintained and held on to this habit. It's a bad habit. It doesn't work for you guys. My point is we need to find ways to take the bad habit out of our game. And how do we do this? I'm going to use an example, okay? For instance, with hypermotion this year, attacking up the center hasn't been as effective. And the reason why is because the defense compresses and it's hard to break the opponent down. So pros, including myself, have attacked on the wing all year to draw the defense out, okay, and basically open up the defense and open up gaps into the center of the pitch. Now, obviously, your casual player isn't as good as doing this, and a lot of the time, your casual player, even though they intend to attack on the wing, they will naturally go to the center because it's just how we've always naturally played in previous years. It's a natural habit. It's a bad habit, though. So, when I say find ways of taking these bad habits out of your game, what do I mean by this? I mean, finding a way that will allow you to take it out of your game. So, what I've done with my people in the Coaching Academy, my clients in the Coaching Academy, and if you haven't joined, lads, be sure to join. Uh, the link is in the description down below. I can work one-on-one -on -one with you. Is I have, for instance, to get the bad habit of attacking of the center out of my clients, attacking game, what I've said to them is, every time you win the ball back, find the win back. What this will do is take the bad habit of always attacking at the center, and it will allow you to every time, it will remind you every time, that you need to attack on the wing, because you've found the wing back every time. You're then in that situation, and then it reminds you, okay, well, I need to stay on this side of the pitch. I need to stay on the wing here, I need to find passes on the wing here so I can draw the defense out naturally. That is a good way of obviously taking that bad habit of tucking up the center out of your game. Through balls, this was a hard one. I will admit it was a hard one to take out of our game. But we did know early on, and especially if you did watch my tutorials early on in FIFA 22, you would know through balls did not work. They do not work and they still do not work because they go closer to your defender than they do to the attacker. What I had to do is literally put a note up on my wall saying no through balls. And every single time I had a draw on an attack, I'd remind myself no through balls. This eventually got this out of my attack. It took me a good, I would say two or three weeks compared to the months that took you guys, but it took only a few weeks. And the reason why is because I found ways to take the habit out of my game. If you look at the bad habit in your attack or your defense, 
you analyze what it's doing to your attack or your defense, and you realize it's hindering your attack or your defense, then find a goddamn way to take it out. Doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a node on your wall, whether it's a technical technique, including fighting the wing back to prevent yourself from attacking at the center. It's super important, lads. It's super, super important. And it's gonna resonate for this new FIFA coming out, FIFA 23. Things that work this year in FIFA 22 will not work next year. I can guarantee you. Of course, I'm gonna have tutorials on the channel, lads. But what I will say is they will not work. So you need to bear this in mind. Okay, going into the new iteration of FIFA 22. But that will sing at the end of it, lads. As I said, I'm coaching one on one on patreon.com. Okay, also, I'm doing a giveaway for FIFA 23 Ultimate Edition. If you want to enter that, the link to that will be in the description down below. Twitter, Instagram, two chances to win Ultimate Team, Ultimate Edition, FIFA 23. And uh, yeah, lads, as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.